Good morning, students. Today we'll shift to your honeycomb book and begin with a new chapter, which is a gift of chappals. Now the chapter might sound something different from regular chapters or regular topics that we come across. Now th- in this chapter we'll see some young children. who have great power of imagination they can they imagine a lot and then narrate their imaginative stories to people to others and they love doing that like all children do they make their own stories they have their own world and they love narrating these stories to others and even others also find interesting listening to them let's start with the chapter Mridu is a young girl growing up in Madras. So the first character is Mridu who lives in Madras with Tapi her grandmother and Tatha her grandfather. Now uh please note these are not the names of grandmother and grandfather. In Tamil grandmother is known as Tati and Tapi and grandfather is known as Tatha. One afternoon Tapi takes her to her aunt Rukumani's house to meet her cousins Lali, Ravi and Meena. So one day her grandmother decides that you should uh visit your aunt the name of aunt is Rukumani and meet her cousins Lali, Ravi, Ravi and Meena. So these three are the cousins Rukumani's aunt. A smiling Rukumani threw open the door. Ravi and Meena rushed out and Ravi pulled Mridu into the house. "Wait, let me take off my slippers," protested Mridu. She set them out neatly near a pair of large black ones. Those were grey actually with dust. Now, when a uh, Mridu's grandmother she takes her to the aunt's house Rukumani she opens the door she is smiling and as soon as Mridu arrives Ravi and Meena who are her cousins Ravi and Meena they rushed towards Mridu and took her inside their house but she says wait i have to remove my slippers now certain houses have these traditions of not uh carrying your slippers along inside the house so she says wait let me remove my slippers and she placed her slippers beside another slippers which were black colored slippers but they looked gray because they were covered with dust you could see the clear mark of every tro- toe on the front part of each slipper so they were so much covered with dust that there were toe marks on that slipper when you wear a dusted slipper or you are wearing a slipper and you go to a sandy area the dust accumulates on the part where your feet is not present so that part had the toe marks but the other was covered with snow uh dust the marks for the two big toes were long and scrawny so she found that the marks that the person who uh, the slippers are must have long feet but very thin feet skinny feet Mridu didn't have much time to wonder about whose slippers they were because Ravi dragged her to the backyard behind a thick bitter berry bush. Now when she placed her slippers she didn't get time to think whose slippers uh, the grey or I would say black colored slippers covered with dust were because Ravi immediately took her to the backyard where there was a thick bitter berry bush. A bush you can see here there's a bush it is a berry bush berries grow in this and bitter berries which are not sweet there inside a torn football lined with sacking and filled with sand lay a very small kitten lapping up milk from the coconut half shelf so what was there there was a football a, a football that was torn there was no air inside it and it was sacked with sand that means sand was filled in it to make it puffier to make it soft and there was a kitten who was drinking milk from half coconut shell we found him outside the gate this morning he was mewing and mewing poor thing said meena so meena says we found this poor cat this little cat outside our gate and the ca- uh, cat was mewing making a meow sound so we brought her here It's a secret Amma says 
Pati will leave for our Paddu Mama's house if she knows we have a cat. Now, Meena says we got this cat but yes this cat is a secret nobody should know about it why because my mama says that Pati will leave for Padu Mama's house now Pati is again grandmother in Tamil so you see here Thap Tapi and Pati why because one is Nani and one is Dadi so Amma is a uh, Meena and Ravi's mother, that means Rukumani aunt, and Rukumani says that if Pati comes to know, then she would go and live with Ma, <coughs> with the, with Mama uh, and his family if she knows that there is a cat in the house. People have always telling, people are always telling us to be kind to animals, but when we are, they scream, "Oh, don't bring that dirty creature here," said Ravi. Now Ravi says. These elder people, they always say be kind towards animals and when we get animals and say no, 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 don't bring that dirty animal inside the house. It might have some problems or uh, create chaos in the house. But otherwise they say that you have to be kind towards them. So Ravi says, I don't understand this elder people's nature. <clears throat> Do you know how hard it is to just get a little milk from the kitchen? And he says, it is very difficult for me to get milk from kitchen. So now he narrates an incident, what happened, why he, you know, get, why he says that getting milk from the kitchen is such a difficult task. Though it is not a difficult task, you go and fetch milk. But when you are hiding something from elder people, then... <clears throat> You have to do things without coming in their notice. <clears throat> Pati saw me with a glass in my hand just now. I told her I am very hungry. I want to drink it. But the way she looked at me, I had to wring most of it to throw her off the scent. So he says when I was going, uh, when I went to take a milk of glass, glass of milk for the cat, Pati saw me and I had to tell her that I am hungry and I want to drink it. So he says I misleaded her so that she does not understand my intentions of taking the milk. Then she wanted and he said I had to drink most of it and then she wanted the tumbler. Pati, Pati, I'll wash it myself. Why should I put you in trouble? I told her I had to run and pour the milk into the coconut shell and then run back and wash the tumbler and put it back before she got really suspicious. So he says, I told her that I want to drink it. Now she was standing there. So I had to drink most of the milk and then she asked for the tumbler. Tumbler is the glass. Said, now give me the glass. I'll wash it. <coughs> and he, in order to escape that situation, said that I'll wash it myself. And he hurriedly went to the cat, poured the milk into the half coconut shell and washed the tumbler so that she does not doubt him. Now we have to think of some other way to feed Mahendran. So he says, now we have to come up with some other plan how to feed Mahendran. So who is Mahendran? Name of the cat. So it is a funny name. Mahendran, this little kitty's name Mahendran, Ritu was impressed. It was a real name, not just a cute kitty cat name. But this now, some people would laugh at this that Mahendran, you have named this cat as Mahendran. But Miridu finds it quite impressive. She says he hasn't kept any kitty cat's name. He has given the cat a real name, a human-like name. Actually, his full name is Mahendravarma Pallava Punya. So, he has given him a actual real name, a long name and a short form also. MP Punya for short if you like. He is a fine breed of cat. Just look at his fur. Like lion's mane. Lions have uh, those uh, long hair around the neck. So he says, this cat is of good breed, is of high quality. So I have named him in that way only. And do you know what the emblem of the ancient Pallava kings was? Don't you? He looked expectantly at Mridu. So Pallava was a dynasty. Like we have Mughal dynasty, same way Pallava was a dynasty, Pallava, uh, Pallava kings were there who ruled in the southern part of India. So he relates this cat to that dynasty, that royal family. So he says, don't you know what was the emblem of Pallava kings? What was their insignia? 
you know what is a emblem like india we have uh, the emblem of india is those ashoka's uh, lions right same way pallava kings also have their own emblem and he says don't you know what was the emblem of pallava kings and he looks at mridu that mridu might answer it but mridu giggled <laughs>